Hello, hello, Pisces. This is G1 right in here with G1 Insights. You have a lot of interesting cards here, Pisces, about letting go and releasing. Okay, I didn't really get into all of the cards just yet, but I really like this one here where it says Faded Meeting. That one is beautiful. <laughs> so, when it comes to your love life, my friend, or friends, <laughs> when it comes to your love life, pay attention to old habits. You know, you want to focus on all that is good and not focus on so much of things that are going wrong or that is bad, okay? Even if you feel like it is bad, try not to focus on that too much, okay? Now, you may have to speak your truth this season a lot. Speak your truth, but also be honest with yourself, okay? Venus retro is going retrograde. The planet Venus is going retrograde around the first week of October, October 5th or 6th, give or take a day. October 9th, we have the new moon in Libra. And that same week Venus go retrograde, the moon will go into Virgo. So around that first week, you will feel like everyone is constantly criticizing you. They have nothing good to say. They always have, you know, pointing the finger. Or this may be you doing this to someone else. And this could be whether this is in business, friendship, love, family matters. Either way, Pisces, you have a lot to work on. I do see a lot of growth overall when it comes to love, family, marriage. I feel like you are trying to heal yourself, heal yourself spiritually so that you can focus on this brand new union, okay? Now, aside from that, you also need to focus on freeing yourself, okay? So this is also about your soul or healing your soul or really just getting your life back, okay? Overall, this is just getting your life back. Because see, you have free yourself here. And for yourself is one of those cards where it could be talking about anything. Free yourself from self-sabotage. Free yourself from drama. Free yourself from toxic relationships. Freeing yourself, you know, from situations that basically no longer serve you. It is time to take back control of your life. Okay? Now... The interesting part is you did get the Envy card here. So the Envy card is what it is, okay? It's about being envious. And not in a bad way, but I mean, not that jealousy is ever a good thing, but not necessarily in a bad way, okay? This is about you looking out at all of the glory of somebody else's work or somebody else's life. And just really sitting there secretly admiring them, okay? You know, like, oh, man, you know, their relationship is really good. They have a beautiful home. They have a beautiful spouse. I love how they speak. I love their hair. Their hair is so pretty. Or I love their style. I wish I can look like that. I wish I could dress like that. I wish I had a car like that. So this is really interesting, especially, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys have any Leo in your birth chart at all, but you may want to go back to Leo September video um, for their love focus because it had a lot to do with that. Guys, I'm going to blow out this candle here, okay? Dang, I blew that one out first, <laughs> and it's way over there. Okay. <laughs> So, because it's starting to make a mess. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's okay. It's just wax. It'll be all right. So, <laughs> you know, when you're thinking about envying people, Pisces, 
the thing is this. This is where the problem coming at. Is that you are blessed. You have a lot more than what you think you have. And so you are really, you really don't really have a need to or even really need to focus on this person. The more you focus your intention on this individual or this situation involving these other people, the more the attraction and good karma comes to them. So you therefore are taking the energy and the attraction away from you and you are telling the universe, hey, look at them, okay? So try to refocus your energy. You don't want to try, be careful not to envy your spouse. Be careful not to envy your friends. You are being blessed with a lot of new friendships or have been blessed with new friends. And a lot of these new friends are, they represent something very monumental, something very beneficial for your life, even now or even more so in the future. So be very cautious not to overly extend, you know, your invite in their life. In other words, don't try to bring them down with your critical thinking or your harsh words. Don't run these people away, okay? Again, this is a season where you want to release old habits, old way of thinking, and old way of being. And I feel like a lot of you have been on a spiritual journey recently anyway. Like, you guys have been going through this whole spiritual journey and... You already know that spirit is guiding you. You already know that spirit is calling you to a higher calling. Like a lot of you already get it, right? But what interests me here is this. So this is your solar plexus, dear love. You know who else got this energy? I believe it was Aquarius. But it was in a different deck. Aquarius people also got this similar energy. And this is simply about speaking your truth, being honest with yourself. You're going to have to do some soul searching this season, dear love. Some soul searching, seeking and finding. For a lot of you, this is about receiving some type of clarity. You wanting to know the truth about a particular person or yourself. Maybe you want to know why you are so crazy and so emotional all the time. Why are you always sad or pouting and depressed? Why is that? What is blocking your happiness? So this season, you are being challenged to go back to the past, do a little bit of digging, a little soul searching, Conjure up some type of answer to all of your questions. Because I feel like a lot of you are praying, meditating, doing rituals, doing things that kind of help you maintain your sanity and your peace of mind. And you're doing this because you don't quite understand what is going on. But the reality is, I think you kind of already know. You know yourself. See, because all of the habits and um, bad patterns and things that you deal with every day are patterns from your past life, okay? Patterns that no longer serve you. So you were reincarnated into this lifetime to get away from the stagnation, to get away from self-sabotaging, right? You were reincarnated into this lifetime to become a new you, and it's like, yet you are still picking up all these different habits of insecurity, emotional outbursts, you know, simply criticizing or maybe being overly judgmental upon a person or a situation. So even with this card coming out here, Karmic Trench, this is really about you, you know, you've been there and done that. You know these habits because you used to do it in your past. 
So be careful of that, even in this relationship with this new person, or if you have been in this relationship for a while now, you can kindly remind yourself that in the past, these behaviors did not work for you. Why would they work for you now? Okay? You are being guided here with Uriel, Archangel Uriel in Phoenix, to dig a little deeper. To find out the truth, okay? Why are you envious? Why do you feel like they have more than you? When you have blessings all around you and yet you are still so discontent. Something is wrong with that picture, my love. It's like you are always wanting more and wanting more and wanting more and wanting more. And you feel inadequate because you don't get more. This is about, the envy card is about lack or dissatisfaction. Why are you discontent? Even if you are not discontent now, you may have been recently. And so the universe is telling you that you are being spiritually guided, my love. You are being spiritually guided to follow your heart, to follow your spirit, follow your intuition. A lot of you are on a spiritual path, but you have to make sure that you are on the right spiritual path. That you are doing what you are supposed to do. That you're not just doing something because somebody else is doing this. You have to do this spiritual path because this is really your life purpose this is what you really need to do not because of somebody else is doing it so when it comes to love okay even in love there's a lot of old habits fighting being insecure being jealous being discontent finding something to criticize your spouse about or finding something to fight about with your spouse. So when codependency comes out, this is literally about, you know, addictions or old bad habits, things that we need to get rid of, things that no longer serve us. You are being asked to free yourself from all of this self-sabotage, guys. No more self-sabotaging. When it comes to love, you know, look at this. This is a faded meeting, okay? So you guys were brought together to uplift each other, to bring out something greater in one another. But you can't do that if you're constantly criticizing them or badgering them or making them feel less of a person or if they're doing this to you. The relationship can't grow that way. The relationship will grow once you free yourself from self-sabotage. Once you free yourself from insecurities and things that have brought you down or have hurt you. Okay? So, once again, even in love, you are still dealing with some issues, my love. You are still dealing with things that can hurt you. Things that have distorted your needs and your feelings, making you feel inadequate, making you feel like you're not loved. There's a reason for that. Nobody just wake up mean just for no reason. There's a reason why you are going through all this. So even with this, my love, this could, if it's not necessarily a relationship that you are in, this could even be new friendships, okay? You met this person for a divine purpose. This person is in your life because they can show you something and reveal something to you about yourself. And you have to begin to want to be open to it. Whether this is a friendship, a relationship, a partnership, this person was brought into your life for a reason. So instead of being envious, okay, it is time for you to embrace them as an individual. Learn from daily things that they are teaching you. Pay attention to the things that they're trying to teach you.
Now, this could even be a past life relationship. And a lot of times when we think about past life, we only think about past life lovers. But past life relationships could be karmic. They can be work relationships, an old co-worker from a past life. So once again, my love, you were reincarnated into this life for a reason. And part of that reason was to get rid of that self-sabotage, okay? So this could even be a friend from a past life. You and this person knew each other from a past life. That is why you guys can understand each other. That's why you laugh at each other. That's why you and this person can make jokes of one another and go on and live life. Meanwhile, some people might think you're just too moody, too emotional, too depressed. Meanwhile, for some reason, this person actually fucks with you. Like, they love you. And there's a reason for that, dear love. You knew this person from a past life experience, okay? So, somewhere in your past life, you knew this person. Keep your individual and collective growth a priority, my love. Even in your marriage, in your relationships with your spouse, keep your relationship at a pace where it is constantly growing. Make sure that your relationships and your friendships are a priority to you. And to act with difference and compassion to yourselves and each other. Okay, so even in love, your love cards are saying the same thing. My love, get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? Now, this can also mean that your bond deepens as well. A relationship is growing closer. Somebody is getting to know you. You're getting to know them. You're revealing more and more about yourself each and every day. You're being honest with yourself each and every day. You're starting to open up to them in ways you never thought possible. You're starting to love them because they're loving you for who you are. And you love that. Okay? So very good, Pisces. Very, very good. Very good. Okay? If you both honor your karmic course, this could be one of the best and highest relationships that you can know. And that could be, like I said, my love, that can be with friendships. That can be either with a relationship. If you are single and you're currently dating, this can still be very well someone from a past life relationship, okay? But this can also be a faded meeting with some from work, a co-worker, someone you work closely with, someone you look up to, okay? So this could be maybe you're going to meet someone that can bring some new opportunities to you in regards to work-related issues, someone offering you a position, or maybe this is just simply a work situation where someone wants to help you creatively, to express yourself creatively. Maybe this person just came into your life to re-inspire you to get back into your creativity, to get back to what you love to do. This could be a past life publisher, a spiritual teacher, a brother, a sister. This person could have been a sister in your past life. This could have been a best friend in your past life. This could have been a spiritual advisor in your past life. Somebody you look to for advice and guidance and reassurance. So once again, this relationship, whether this is a friendship, a marriage, a partnership, this is definitely someone who holds a lot of karmic relations to your soul, my love. Do not run this person away, okay? Like I said, instead of being envious, you may want to start paying attention to the things that they are offering you, my love. Okay? So get ready, because it is definitely almost time for you to, you know, get out of this codependency mentality, okay? No more. If you feel like you are drinking too much, smoking too much, doing drugs a little bit too much, please, please stop. If you feel like you are nagging too much, bitching too much, if you feel like you're always complaining, or maybe you're just not simply a good listener, whatever it is, 
It is time to change your perspective on new partnerships, new friendships, and new relationships, okay? Relationships are going to a whole nother level this season. Your relationship with yourself is going to a whole nother level this season. How amazing is that? How amazing is that, my love? So what I found interesting the most about your reading is that, you know, it's a lot of words in here or cards in here that describe karmic relations, okay? Even this, you know, even this karmic card right here, even this talks about a difficult pattern in your life, a pattern of self-defeating feelings and thoughts and actions that you have brought forward from previous incarnations. It is time to say goodbye to the unwanted feelings and notions. No more of that. Like I said, my love, you were brought here to break that cycle. You've been digging yourself deeper and deeper into a karmic trench that gets harder and harder to escape. The more you focus on this unwanted thing, the more it's going to keep happening. The more you focus on how angry you are, how upset you are, how frustrated you are, the more is going to happen. Like I said before, this pattern is not unknown to you, though. You recognize it in your relationships, in your jobs, and certainly in your beliefs, your behaviors, and in your responses. So it is definitely time to take charge of your karma by altering the inner ideas, feelings, and patterns that has caused you to make sabotaging choices, okay? So like I said, no more self-sabotaging. It's time to free yourself, my love. It's time to take back control of your life. Do you see that? Free yourself. Because love is here to stay. That friendship is here to stay. So is that partnership. But you got to make sure that you are not self-sabotaging. Okay? Relationships are going to a whole new level. So every time you notice yourself making an old choice that is getting you into trouble, digging you deeper into, uh, you know, into this karmic trench here, okay? You can definitely change your mind and your actions, you know, um, and just try to be a bit more smarter about this decision, you know, things that you're doing in your world. This, however, will require your conscious effort every step of the way. So without such work, you could go lifetimes burying yourself in these same old feelings. And that is why codependency came up as well, my love. It's all about getting rid of that habit. Or a few habits that you may have. But with your commitment to making changes every day, you can dig yourself out. Most certainly, okay? So it's not about you being stuck. Even though with this envy card here, that is definitely how some of you are feeling. You are feeling a bit stuck and you don't have to feel stuck. Because the universe is blessing you. You are already blessed. You already have everything you need. And yet, you just keep asking for more. I want more. I want that. I want big, 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 big. I want better. I want big. I want better. And the universe is like, well, I'm giving you everything. If you stop focusing on their blessing, you won't be missing your own blessing. If you stop focusing on their blessing, you won't be missing out on the prize that I'm giving you, right? So like I said, the more you focus on something, it's karma. All you're doing is putting that, inten that intention more on that individual. That's all you're doing. Okay? So try to think positive and expect positive outcomes. Try to change your mind. Change your mind. Change your life. <laughs> it's the only way, baby. It's the law of attraction. I talk about it all the time because it is so, so true. Okay? So, guys, I'm going to do your overall advice, Pisces. Your reading was really straight to the point. I love it. I think relationships are growing and elevating with each and every step you take. But I need you to remember, dear love, that you are blessed, okay? This is not the time for you to be, you know, overly emotional, depressed. Some of you are on the spiritual journey. I recommend that you stay on this spiritual journey, Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, Pisces, for your overall energy. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Pisces. Here's your overall advice, okay? Or overall concerns or things that you may feel or things that you feel and think, my love, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, when I say, if you guys have Aquarius or Leo anywhere in your birth chart, please review their video, please. Yes, yes, yes. If you are an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aquarius, or if you um, have Pisces as your sun sign and you have maybe Aquarius as your rising, you know, um, or if you were born on the cups of Pisces and Aquarius, this may also be for you. Because this is interesting. Aquarius got this same exact overall advice card. The same exact one, if you believe. If you believe, my love, if you believe, it's definitely going to happen. you got to have faith, okay? So, Pisces, I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. Please tune in. If you would like to donate, please feel free to go to my website, www.g1insights.org. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and subscribing. Have a good week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.